Welcome back, Ligari Nation. Today we're showing you a technique we haven't shown in a couple years. It involves some water, spray paint, and some clear epoxy. The end result looks amazing. Watch it all from beginning to end. For more info, check the description below. All right guys, got a super cool technique for you. I did this about two years ago when I built my dining room table. Um, it involves some water, some spray paint, and just clear epoxy. It's really simple. You can do all kinds of different colors, different looks, and we're gonna get right into it. So this board's been primed. We did our black primer on this, and then we're gonna be doing, this is Rust Olin Metallic Bright re Reflective Finish in Gold. So it'll be black and gold, and then we'll throw our clear coat, our glaze coat on this. Primer's been down. You want to let the primer, it can be tacky still, but you want to let the primer set up for about an hour, hour and a half, get a fan on it. And you just want to obviously make sure the surface is completely covered because you're going to be seeing the primer uh, through this technique. So spray bottle full of water. I have it in a stream. So it's just spraying a straight stream. And I'm going to just spray it straight across to get some straight like pattern in it with the water. And then once I get my pattern where I want it, I'm gonna spray the whole thing with the gold metallic spray paint. Once that dries everywhere the water's not, we're gonna wipe up the water. Everywhere the water was is gonna be black. Everywhere else will be the gold metallic. And it just creates a really cool look. So we're gonna get right to it. So again, we wanna to try to make this as straight as we can. And we're just kinda spraying across the surface. Again, it doesn't matter as long as it's straight. So I like to jump around each side because you can tell I have bigger beads down there where I just started. And hey, if you guys screw up, just wipe it off, let it dry and, and respray it. Very forgiving process. Looking pretty good. Get a little bit on these edges. All right, now we'll put a mask on. We're gonna just spray the whole thing and all these dry spots is where the gold's gonna stay. All right guys, so we're gonna let this, this paint dry. It's gonna dry real quick where the water's not, and then we're gonna wipe it up, and everywhere that water's at, it's gonna pull all the water off, and it's, and it's gonna be black under there. All right guys, so I'm just testing spots to make sure the time's good, and it is. The cool thing about this is, if you have spots that aren't coming off, we can always rub it a little harder to get it to come off, but I'm gonna just kinda wipe all this, get the majority of it off, and then we'll go through and fine tune it. So we only waited about five minutes. 
the metallic spray paints dry really, really quick. And you can see how they kind of start to crust over. See, the harder I push, the more I can take off. Get some spots opened up here. You just wanna make sure you're going with the pattern, right? I don't wanna start rubbing this way and get a straight line going across. All right, so we got a new rag here. We wanna to try to keep as much gold off of the black as we can. I'm gonna get this wet. The black and silver one I did, I used a paint strainer kind of scrub off more spots too. So something that had a little bit of texture to it, you just kind of work it till you get it to where you like it. I'm not pressing hard, it's really easy. Comes off. So just kind of fine tuning it, spraying some water on a rag. And don't worry about getting some of the gold on the black. Once we're dialed in, we'll just come back and clean some of those spots up, but it's, it still kind of looks cool with the gold all throughout the black. But I'm just going around and kind of evening everything out. Spots that need to take a little more off, I'm rubbing off. And if you guys rub too much off, you can always spray spray paint on it again, let it dry, and then rub less off in that area. So I'm just fine and tuning these ends, make it look like there's a lot, it doesn't kind of get bare towards the ends. All right, so I got it where I want it. So now I'll just get a clean part of the rag. And we'll just go around and wipe up some of the gold off of these black spots. All right, so got it where we want it. So now we're gonna let this dry out, put a fan on it, and then we can do our glaze coat, uh, clear epoxy flood coat on it. So we're getting ready to apply the glaze coat. Um, if you guys wanna order this, you can get it on our website, ligari.com, under single items. And then for all you contractors out there, we have contractor pricing. Simply sign up and you'll automatically get that pricing and you'll see your discount there. So the product, uh, the product's a glaze coat. We're doing a thick, nice flood coat on this and we typically want to do 3.5 to four ounces on our flood coats. And so this board's two foot by eight foot, that's 16 square feet, times that by four, we got 64 ounces. So that's what I'm gonna make, 64 ounces of glaze coat. And then when you guys are applying your flood coats, um, you want to be using a foam roller, uh, a brush or like a squeegee. You don't want to use a nap hair roller um, or a hair roller because those do shed most of the time and this is like your final coat. So I'm going to be using the foam roller um, and I'll show you some tips and stuff as we're applying it. Um, but yeah, so we'll start mixing. Uh, we're going to mix this with the drill, mix it for about two to three minutes, scrape the sides and then we'll just pour it out, roll it around and then let the product do its thing.
All right, so even your foam roller um, can shed some stuff. So I always like to get it on the roller handle, kind of brush it off, and you'll see some white stuff fall off. Get as much of that off as you can. And then when I'm applying it, I like to kind of slick the whole surface off with the resin and then start in a thick spot, get this thing soaked up, and then roll it out. Because what'll happen is anytime it gets sticky or it's thin, it tends to pull stuff off. And that goes for even nap rollers when you guys are coating you know, metallic epoxy and doing stuff. You always want to get these rollers soaked up so they're not hitting kind of dry, thin spots and wanting to get sticky and pull stuff off of them. So I'm just going to pour a bead down the middle, try to get it the same thickness all the way down. And then what I'm gonna do is just spread it out, get the whole resin on the whole surface, and then I'll start rolling it out to even it out. So I just go back and forth. See how it makes that gold really pop once that resin hits it. All right, so I always want to start in a thick spot, kind of start getting this thing soaked up. That's going to minimize anything pulling off of this. If you start somewhere thin, again, guys, where it's sticky, it's going to want to pull anything off the roller. So I'm just kind of getting it soaked up where I know it's thick, and then we can start kind of rolling it out. All right, once we get all of it rolled out evenly, you kind of just make sure. The best way to tell you got a good thick coat is just let the roller glide over the surface. It's not pushing, pulling a bunch. It's leaving these lines behind. You'll be able to tell like if you have a thin spot, it'll kind of sound sticky. If you have a thick spot, you're gonna wind up pushing a bunch of product from the roller and you can just kind of just let it glide everywhere. And you see how nice Nice of a thick coat we have. So once I'm happy with the top, then I just roll over my edges. Make sure we got resin all on the edges. You can also use your, your hands to do this, but there's plenty spots where it's dripping over where we can just roll it in. All right guys, now notice how glass smooth this is and we just rolled it out. You saw me mix it, I induced a bunch of air into it, and this thing looks absolutely beautiful. We don't have to torch our products. Um, they have additives that allow the bubbles to release and pop by themselves. Um, so the last thing I'll do is just double check if I see anything in it that I can pick out now, I'll pick it out. Um, but before I, I finish it, I'm just gonna mist it with denatured alcohol. That's gonna help the surface fizzle and um, help any air that's trapped in there release. But you can see how glass smooth it already is without doing nothing. All right, so we'll let this set up um, and then I'll, I'll eventually show you guys, I'll shoot another video, show you how to do this look in uh, a metallic epoxy design as well, where the black would be a metallic epoxy and then we recreate this stuff while it's still wet. 